ASD short case presentation 26 years female presentation pulse 80 bit per minute regular normal volume and character no radio radial or radio femoral delay peripheral pulses are normal blood pressure 140 over 40 millimeter mercury at upper lip apex with left fifth intercostal space just lateral to mid clavicular line which is normal in character there is palpable pulsation on left second intercostal space left parasternal lift is present but not real first heart sound loud in tricuspid area second heart sound wide and fixed breathing of second heart sound with loud pulmonary component there is an ejection systolic murmur grade 3 by 6 in pulmonary area best heart in sitting position with patient leaning forward there is no radiation also there is the mdm in left lower parasternal area grade 3 by 6 best heart in lying position with breath hold on inspiration what is your diagnosis most likely atrial septal defect do you have any differential yes sir it may be mitral stenosis pulmonary stenosis vsd aortic stenosis why not mitral stenosis in mitral stenosis there is opening snap which may mimic as white fixed splitting and also MDM but in MS apex bit is tapping. First heart sound is loud in apex, MDM in apex, best heart in left lateral position with breath hold on its expiration. There is presystolic accentuation. Why not PS? In PS there is ejection systolic murmur in left second intercostal space but associated with systolic thrill in left upper parasternal area. Pulmonary component of second heart sound is soft with ejection click. Why not aortic stenosis? In aortic stenosis there is a systolic thrill in right second ICS with radiation towards neck. Aortic component of second heart sound is soft, crescendo, decrescendo, ejection, systolic murmur at right second intercostal space which radiates to neck. Why exertional shortness of breath during exertion increase metabolic demand but LB feeling is comparatively poor as blood from LA shunted to RA. So supply demand mismatch shortness of breath. Pulmonary hypertension causes exertional shortness of breath. If right heart failure develops, then shortness of breath. Why palpitation low cardiac output can cause tachycardia? Atrial fibrillation is common in ASD. Note in my patient, this is not applicable. Why repeated respiratory tract infection in ASD? There is increased pulmonary blood flow, so lung plethora occurs, which invites respiratory tract infection. What is the cause of chest pain in ASD? As there is RV volume overload, right ventricular hypertrophy, relative ischemia of RV chest pain, pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary infarction. Why there is left external heat? Increased blood flow to RV causes RV enlargement. <coughs> which produces left parasternal lift. Why palpable impulse in left second intercostal space? It is the palpable pulsation of the dilated pulmonary trunk as the pulmonary trunk is dilated due to increased pulmonary blood flow. Why first heart sound is loud? Due to increased blood flow from RA to RB through the tricuspid valve, valve cups go away during diastole. Closure of widely apart tricuspid valve against this high flow, loud first heart sound in tricuspid area. Why is wide and fixed splitting of second heart sound due to hangout interval? RVOT ejection time is widened. This is the time interval between overcome of pressure difference between RV and pulmonary artery and actual closure of pulmonary valve. Due to equalization of volume in both atrium throughout the respiration, during expiration right heart receives less amount of blood but this is compensated by shunting from LA to RA. So splitting is fixed throughout inspiration and expiration. What are the findings in ASD if pulmonary hypertension develops? Cyanosis may develop, prominent A wave in JBP, parasternal hip, palpable P2, loud P2, narrowing of wide, fixed splitting of second heart sound, and disappearance of triclaspid flow MDM. Mid systolic pulmonary flow murmur is replaced by softer and shorter murmur. 
high frequency early diastolic murmur of pulmonary regurgitation that is graham still murmur causes of wide fixed splitting of second heart sound asd partial anomalous pulmonary vascular disease papvd causes of wide but not fixed splitting of second heart sound rbbb pulmonary hypertension rb pacing pulmonary stenosis mild to moderate delayed p2 severe mr early ato closer large vsd early ato closer what are the types of asd asd second dam primum sinus venosus asd coronary sinus asd what are the association of asd cleft mitral valve ostium primum mitral valve prolapse with ostium second dam acquired ms with asd second dam that is lutem bacher syndrome asd with pulmonary stenosis tapvd papvd PLSBC associated with coronary sinus type of ASD, ASD with TOF, ASD with VSD, ASD with PDA, HALT, ORAM syndrome, upper limb deformity plus ASD, Down syndrome common, AV canal defect. What are the causes of pan-systolic murmur in ASD, TR from pulmonary hypertension, TR from AV canal defect, MR from AV canal defect. MR from cleft mitral valve if present in primum ASD, MR MBP if present with second dam ASD if associated ventricular septal defect. Why MDM in ASD? Flow murmur through tricuspid valve in lutem bacher syndrome. Why ejection systolic murmur in ASD? Increased pulmonary flow through pulmonary valve causes prominent P2, no click, no thrill. Pulmonary associated pulmonary stenosis, associated ejection plaque, thrill, soft P2. Why early diastolic murmur in ASD? If severe pulmonary hypertension develops, Graham still murmur. How will you investigate? ECG, chest X ray, peer view, echocardiography, 2D, M mode, and Doppler study. CMR, CT, angiogram. What will be expected ECG findings in ASD? Second dam ASD incomplete RBBB plus right axis deviation, right, band, uh, right ventricular hypertrophy, P pulmonary. Primum ASD incomplete RBBB left axis deviation, first degree AB block. Expected findings in chest X ray of ASD. Second dam ASD cardiomegaly with RB type apex, bulging of pulmonary conus, dilated pulmonary artery, plethoric lung field. Primum ASD cardiomegaly with LB type apex, bulging of pulmonary conus, dilated pulmonary artery, plethoric lung field. Could you detect inoperability by chest X ray? We can get some clues like normal heart size, normal or reduced vascularity, evidence of pruning with a dilated pulmonary artery, rapid decline in vessel size. What do you mean by plethoric lung field? Prominent pulmonary arteries in lateral one third of lung field in chest X ray. Due to increased pulmonary blood flow in shunt defects, lower loop vessels become more prominent. So, lower loop vessels become more prominent. What do you mean by oligemic lung field? Pulmonary vessels are not seen beyond medial one third of lung field. What will be the chest X-ray findings in ASD with pulmonary hypertension, RB type apex, dilated pulmonary artery, peripheral pruning? What are the transthoracic echo findings in ASD? Parastinal long axis view, dilated RB, paratoxical movement of IBS, LVOT diameter measured here for QS measurement. Parastinal short axis view shows at the level of great vessel RA, RB dilated. Echo dropout in the intraatrial septum, dilated pulmonary artery, aortic and posterior rim can be measured, aortic and posterior rim can be measured, laminar color flow from LA to RA, increased flow, flow velocity across tricuspid valve and pulmonary valve, RBOT diameter and VTI measured here for QP. At papillary muscle level, there is fluttering flattening of IVS with a D-shaped LB both in systole and diastole due to volume overload. Apical four chamber view shows RA RV dilated, echo dropout of intraatrial septum can be seen, color flow from LA to RA usually, increased flow
flow velocity across the tiger speed valve measurement of pulmonary artery systolic pressure from PRJ, mitral and posterior rim measured here, LVOT VTI measured here for QS. Subcostal view, echo dropout at intracranial septum, color flow from left atrium to right atrium is seen better in this view, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava rim measured in subcostal sagittal view also the ivc diameter can be measured here what is the aim of echocardiography to confirm the diagnosis of atrial septal defect type of asd size of asd hemodynamic consequence to assess upper ability scope for intervention to detect associated lesions assessment of lb function is trans esophageal echo mandatory for asd no sir but this is mandatory before device closure mention the rule of catheterization in asd catheter trajectory from ra to la if difficulty in passing or passes to superior vena cava then anomalous vein sinus venosa suspected oxygen step up step up of 8% from superior vena cava to right atrium and 5% from right atrium to RV or RV to MPA is significant. In superior vena cava or high right atrium, if superior vena cava or high right atrium sinus venosus type, if mid RA as the second dump. In low RASD primum, pressure study with QPQS quantification and quantification of pulmonary hypertension. LB graphy in primum variety LB graphy shows ghost neck deformity. In LB graphy in primum variety LB graphy shows ghost neck deformity. In primum variety LB graphy shows ghost neck deformity. CAG done in ASD if age more than 40 years. What are the other causes for step up of oxygen saturation in, re, in RA? What are the other causes of step up of oxygen saturation in right atrium? ASD, VSD with tricuspid regurgitation, PA, PVD, rupture sinus of valsalva in right atrium. So ASD, VSD with TR. PAPVD rupture sinus of valsalva in RA and garbody defect also causes oxygen step up in right atrium. How vasodilator testing is done and why? Acute vasodilator testing is done by nitric oxide, 100% oxygen inhalate or IV prostaglandin, I2 analog, IV adenosine to assess operability in borderline cases of shunt anomaly, to assess vasodilator response in idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension, familial pulmonary arterial hypertension for prescribing calcium channel blocker. What is the rule of CMR or CT in ASD to detect anomalous pulmonary vein, shunt magnitude quantification, structures that are not seen by echo like scimitar syndrome, TAPVC. Mention the indication of ASD closure, RV volume overload, that is QPQS ratio more than 1.5 is to 1, paradoxical emboli closure, PBR less than 3 unit closure, if PBR is 3 to 5 unit and QPQS ratio more than 1.5 is to 1, closure class 2 recommendation, if PBR more than 5 unit, pulmonary arterial hypertension treatment and follow up, if PBR falls below 5 unit and QPQS ratio more than 1.5, fenestrated closure. If LV systolic or diastolic dysfunction, balloon testing to assess the risk benefit ratio to consider closure. If after balloon closure, LV dysfunction deteriorates, then either no closure or fenestrated closure is considered by the surgeon. What are the contraindication of ASD closure? In Eisenmenger's syndrome or if Eisenmenger's develop, Patient with pulmonary arterial hypertension and PVR more than 5 would unit even after pulmonary arterial hypertension treatment. When will you when will you choose device therapy in ASD? In case of ASD second dump variety, no associated lesions such as PL SBC, PAPVC, adequate rim size more than 5 mm and good quality of rim, defect size less than 35 mm. 
Note, IBC rim is crucial and absence of posterior rim is not so significant. Note, inferior vena cabal rim is crucial. Inferior vena cabal rim is crucial and absence of posterior rim is not so significant. What are the contraindications of device closure? Single defect too large, more than 35 mm. Too small to be hemodynamically significant. ASD other than second arm variety. Defect too close to superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, pulmonary veins, atrioventricular valves, or coronary sinus. Deficient or insufficient rim, abnormal venous connections, any other congenital anomaly requiring open surgical procedure, ASD with severe pulmonary arterial hypertension that is more than 70 mm of mercury and bidirectional or right to left shunt, severe LV dysfunction, some are common contraindications for either device or surgical closure. Name some ASD devices, amplar septal occluder. Cardioseal occlude, helix septal occlude. What are the complications of device therapy? Immediate complications include cardiac, aortic root or atrial perforation, device embolization, bleeding. Mid and long term complications include device thrombosis, device erosion in ascending aorta, device fracture, pulmonary embolism, infective endocarditis, atrial dysrhythmia. If pregnant woman presents with ASD, what will be the treatment option? Pregnancy is usually well tolerated in ASD. Follow up twice during pregnancy is sufficient. Catheter device closure can be performed during pregnancy but only if the condition of mother is deteriorating. In women with residual shunt, risk of paradoxical embolism is high. Use of compression stockings, avoiding supine position is important early after delivery. If prolonged immobilization is needed, then prophylactic heparin can be considered. Mode of delivery, if patient can tolerate, then supervised spontaneous vaginal delivery is safe. Now, what is the prognosis of ASD? Up to 40 years, there is no survival difference between normal individual and patient with ASD. After 4 years, annual mortality increases by 4 to 8 percent in comparison to normal individual. Why patient deteriorates after age of 40? LV compliance decreases and systemic arterial resistance increases, so more left to right shunt. What are the bad prognostic factors? Older age at operation, advanced heart failure, NYJ 3 and 4, QPQS ratio more than 2.5 is to 1. Pulmonary artery systolic pressure more than 40 mm mercury, PVR more than 1.6 OD unit. Is there any medical management after device closure? Yes, aspirin after six, up to 6 months. Aspirin up to 6 months. Infective endocarditis prophylaxis for dental procedures up to 6 months. Thank you.